All right, so talk about the... Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a new repair today. It's a 2013 Lexus RX 350. It's a simple front bumper replacement and uh, not much. So stay tuned, enjoy the video and let's get this going. At the top of the engine bay, there are a bunch of clips over here that uh, needs to be depressed in and then you pull it out with a trim tool remover. There's a whole bunch of them that goes across. So it's good to get all the plastics off and then um, see what you need to do underneath that. Okay guys, so on the driver's side of this vehicle, I know that's removed the fender liner. There's a whole bunch of 10 millimeter bolts that needs to come off here. Uh, you can see this is one fastener for it. It's all, there's one over there. There's a lot of them. And over here, you need a Robinson 5 30 seconds bit to remove three of them on this side. Uh, on the front of the bumper, over here on the inside, there's a white clip that needs to come out. In that is another 10 millimeter bolt. You take that out and you pry on both sides of that white clip and it literally falls out. Then you have this give. In there is where that clip sits. Uh, this is what it looks like. It just slides in there and then the bolt uh, locks it in place. So when you have that out, the bumper on this side is pretty much ready to come out. All right, so at the top of the engine over here, as you can see, there's this rubber bushings on both sides. Um, they, they are, in fact, clips that needs to be pulled out to remove the bumper. So you need to get in over here with your pry tool, pull it out, and then that comes right out. Okay, so over on the side, as you can see, there are a couple um, flathead plastic bolts in there. You just need to rotate it anti-clockwise on both sides and then this just pops out you can see it's completely disconnected on both sides that's what it's like and then there are a couple 10 millimeter bolts down there that needs to be removed to remove this bumper same underneath okay guys so if you've done everything right you know remove all the plastic up top by depressing or prying out the clips on top like i said before and then you go on the side over here there is those a white plastic tab with a 10 millimeter bolt in it you remove that all this is held by a clip you just need to gently pry it out underneath uh, under the under belly pan a couple 10 millimeter bolts there and a clip i think you pull that out same thing on the other side uh, the bumper is pretty much ready to come out when you want to bring it out you have to make sure um, that you undo the wiring harness for the fog lights uh, probably some sensors back there I'm gonna do that right now put you guys on a time lapse so you can see and undo those clips <laughs> All 
right? So if you've done everything right, the bumper should just come up just like this. And like I said, there's one that needs to be disconnected over here. Over on this side, there are two. That is it right there. And then the uh, whole front bumper just comes off. Okay guys, so over here I have the new bumper and over here is the old one. Now you need to pretty much take everything from here and you know install it on this side and get it ready to be mounted on the vehicle. So which is what I'm gonna do. I am gonna put you guys on a time lapse, uh, do this real quick. Well, for you guys it's gonna be real quick. For me, it's gonna be a lot of work. And then uh, bring you guys back on when it's on the, ready to go back on the vehicle. So you can, as you can see, the front grille is out. This is held by six um, screws long, and then it's all about prying it gently so you don't break it. There's so many places along the sides that you need to pry uh, to this to separate it from the main bumper. It's all prying and six bolt. When that's done, it just falls out just like it did, and then you, you can you can install it on the new piece. I'm gonna set this aside, keep disassembling this, this, this old bumper and get it ready to be mounted on a new one. Okay guys, so as you can see, I have the new bumper fully assembled. That's the old one over there. This is what it looks like right now. Fog lights are in, um, tow hook covers, the lower, middle, lower grille all in. Same as the upper grille, everything's all ready to go. Um, so right now I'm just getting ready to put this up on the vehicle. And uh, I'll put you guys on a time lapse. I've pretty much shown how to take this off. It's the exact same thing. Uh, we're gonna get this back on. Okay, guys, as you can see, I have the new front bumper installed. It's only loosely in place. I have not, um, I have not fastened nothing down. I just, you know, put it in place, uh, make sure everything's lined up good, all that good stuff. Nothing's been fastened down, uh, but you know, everything looks good. And that's all that matters. Yeah, all good. So I'm gonna put you guys in a time lapse uh, and show you guys how I put this back together. Alright guys, this is what she looked like, completely put together again. 